Hello again and welcome back. I'm Trisha Bonham Corker from Creative Genie and this video is on behalf of Meath County Council Libraries, um, a mini fairy house and garden um, workshop for your children. So as I was telling you in the last video, I explained about all of the um, uh, materials you're going to need to acquire in order to make this. And one of those was the uh, the magic sponge purchase. So the first thing we're going to do, because this will take the longest to dry, is to cut out the little house shape and paint that so that we can set that aside to dry. So these um, sponges are six centimeters in depth and we're just going to cut a little um, slice off it three centimeters roughly in size. So I'm actually just going to adjust the camera down so you can actually see my hands working here. Okay, and as I said, we have the, the sharp um, Stanley knives I got in, in deals. So please be careful with them. Holding a piece, a, a ruler down and just press it on the top of the sponge and allow the, the knife to go in and do the cutting. It actually slices through extremely easily. This is why I picked the sponge because make sure to push it away afterwards because it's so easy to cut and put that piece aside. So you're left with one little block piece like this. And the first thing I'll do is marking the center point in it. I'm just going to put a little little pen mark there so I know where the, the center of it is halfway. And what I'm going to do is cut my roof shape. So I'm going to go from the center down to one side. I'm watching my fingers. Just let it cut. I want you to turn it over so that you're always cutting, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, that you're always going to cut on the right side for yourself. So you can see where I want to make it hit the same kind of space on the other side. So from the center out, hold my ruler in place and let the knife do the cutting and push it away safely. So I end up with a little house shape like this. I don't need these pieces. I can throw those away. And then what you want to do is um, have your child paint their little house, whatever color they want. We don't need to paint the bottom and we don't need to paint the roof bit, but that can even take overnight depending on how much paint you're, you're using, but the acrylic dries quicker. So we put those aside for the moment. So the next thing you're going to need to do is the three squares of cardboard, 10 by 10 centimeters that you cut out. You're going to need to stick those together so that um, they form a little platform and paint it uh, green all around. We can, you need to worry about the sides of it. If you have any kind of fancy paper or a ribbon, you can always stick a piece on afterwards like that to form a nice little edge if you want. So this is what we're, we are aiming to make is a little house in the middle of a little garden with a, a fence all around. And this is what the uh, coffee sticks are for, the stick stirrers. The first thing we're going to need to do is cut little slices in our garden for the fence to fit in. And we need to cut three on one side, four around the back and three up the other side, like a little half paddock. And the way I do that is with the thinner knife from the packet, I just do three little incisions down one side like that. I don't know if you can see that there. Those three there. I'm going to use a stick to open them up a bit more. And four little incisions, three, four across the back. And then another three along this side. Give it a little wiggle and a push down. So obviously you can see this is the adult part of it. And then I'll take one of my sturdy sticks and pop it into each slice and just give it a little wiggle back and forth. That way you can actually now see where the stick is going to go in. So I just make sure they're deep enough. Press it down and wiggle it either side. 
so we can push it in, push it in. You'll see these much clearer now. It's hard on the dark background. I painted it there earlier to allow for it to dry time-wise for the video. So you can see all of those. You've got your spaces to put your sticks. For the sticks, I just cut about three centimeters off each end. So one stick will give you two ends and I pop each one of those in to a space. And they won't stand up right at the moment. That's what our glue is for. You can either choose to put a dot of glue in first before you stick it in, which might not actually be the worst idea. Just pop those in there. Because the card is a bit stiff after drying out. So a little dot of glue and the good thing with PVA glue is I know it shows up white at the moment but it will actually dry clear so you won't see any of that. So we put in each little fence piece. So we're doing this now so that we can allow this to, uh, to dry off. So we're going to need to cut out of our leftover little pieces. We want piece of fence for the back so we're going to just cut that off and then we need a piece for each side so about half of this one will give me the two and what I'm going to do first is pop a little dot of glue on each little stick that way and this is where I was saying we need the pegs so each you can stick the cross pole on the inside or the outside of your fence it really doesn't matter just wherever you, you decide so you can see that is stuck there now and the other one on the other side that makes just a little wee picket fence around the garden might win gardener of the year for my my garden fence but I don't think the fairies will complain. So I'm just going to stick a peg on each one of those just so that they dry while we're working on the rest. So I can leave those aside. So if we go back to our house and we want to decorate the house and um, put a roof on it, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to make a window for it. And this is what the white card is for. So I've drawn a couple there, but I'm going to show you how to draw a window very easily with a black pen or a dark pencil. The first thing to do is to imagine a tiny little, anywhere on the paper, a tiny little white box. So just put on one corner that tiny little white box one dot and then another dot opposite it so you have like that two tiny little dots beside each other and underneath that another two tiny little dots so that this is what you've got to start with and then i'm going to do a little line up and a little line out just show you from the top two can see that and then on the bottom two a line out and a line down a line out and a line down so what it looks like is the outline of a little white cross in the middle and then I'm going to make the top one draw a line on top of it and down the side to make it a square Sorry, turn it over that way so I've just gone from this having a little line down and a line out. I've made a little square out of it. I'm going to do that with all four. This is probably a little bit big for this little house. I'll do another one, a tinier one. A line out and a line down. 
alongside it because I only want a mini window. So what you're left with is four little outlined squares and then you colour them in. So you can see the bottom one there, I've shown you. This one's a little bit large, so I've done it in a tinier version. Just let that focus there a second. And what I'm going to do then is get my scissors and cut out around it, leaving. You can see there now I've left a bit of white around it for the moment, but I'm just going to bring it in a little bit closer. And what I get left with is a tiny little window. So put this white card away. So that's definitely going to need a, maybe a bit of help. I'm going to put a bit of glue on my house and then stick my little window. I probably could have gone a bit bigger than that. One second. I'll colour in the one I was actually showing you. So you can play around with this and see how your window sizes up. That's just a way I found easier to draw it out rather than trying to draw the window and then fill in the blacks afterwards. I just So that's what I have at first, say, and then the more I cut the, the white off around it, the more I'm just left with the little, the little window. So I can pop that out there. I'm going to stick that one on so you'll see it a bit better. You see? And the same thing, if you don't have coloured card, you can always have white card, old birthday cards or anything like that, and colour them up with your markers. So always handy to do that. You could cut out another piece of card, draw a door shape, and colour that in. So for a door, I would do a line down and another line opposite it, and then do the a line across to be the bottom of the door, and then I just make it a half circle on the top. So you could colour that in and cut it out to make it whatever um, size you want or whatever colour you want. But I've actually done a piece out, cut a piece of yellow card out already. So I have a little yellow door there to stick on. And I'm just going to put a little door handle on this door with a black pen. Put a nice little black dot there to show you how. And then I'm going to make my roof. Now my roof I can stick on with glue or I can put some, I'm going to do both actually just to show you put some double sided sticky tape. So I take a piece and stick it over the white part, the bit I haven't painted yet. And just rub it like that so it'll stick to the sponge and then to rub a good bit to get the backing off and leave the, the sticky part behind. It can be a bit tricky. Ah, ah. No, it's not <laughs> working for me, typically. Give it a good hard squeeze. Sometimes the heat of your hands will make it stay in place. No, it's not going to play ball today, so I'm just going to glue it. And this is where sometimes I find the hot glue very, very handy. So for our roof, we want a piece of card that is 10 centimeters by four centimeters. If you have, have bought some of the foam, you can buy this foam in Mr. Price or Choice, I think have it as well. It's thin foam and it's really good fun. You can make lots and lots of things out of it. 
So you could cut the same size piece out of that or colored card is no problem. So once you have your piece of card, fold it exactly in half. So the halfway point is where the roof is going to go and sit down on your house. So a bit of glue on that, on the top of your head, on top of your roof, and then pop your card on top. And you have your cute little roof on your house. And if you want to do a bit of, um, I was saying a little bit of decoration. I don't know if you can see it on this one here. I have little flowers climbing up the, the wall. This is where the cocktail stick comes into it. Um, it's really easy to do. You just have your green paint first. And with your cocktail stick, just do some little dots, bunches of dots. around like that and you can dot 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 and paint just a little bit it's always handy as well to have some tissues around you so you can wipe off what you what you don't need i'm just going to pop a little bit for speed while i'm showing you this because you have the time to let these things dry at home so there's your greenery on your your um, house first. I'm going to just do a bit of pale pink here so you can see it stand out against it. So just wipe off the stick on a tissue and you're good to go again. And then add in some little blossoms. If you don't have cocktail sticks, the end of a paintbrush or a matchstick can work very well. There you go, little blossoms on it. So your little house is ready. We're going to leave that aside. I'll just show you if you're going to do some of the, what I did with this so that I could paint my pebbles was I stuck down a bit of double-sided sticky tape on something hard, like a piece of card or a yogurt lid. And then you can stick the pebbles onto them so they stay in place while you're trying to paint. Otherwise it's very hard to hold a pebble and paint it at the same time. And then, I can get my black pen or black paint and do a line down the middle and make a little face at the front and then a few little black dots. Make sure you know. Um, do another little face on that little fella. So, let me see there a bit. Actually, it might be easier with my hand under it to see it. Yeah. Okay. And then draw in the black dots. I'll put them actually out on the, so the white surface makes it easier to see it. And the little toadstools I make, let that dry a second. Little toadstools I've made out of uh, air dough or you could use play-doh. Um, it's just a tiny little sausage shaped stump and a little roundy ball squished on the top to make the, the little toadstool shape. And let those dry out or go harder and then paint them. So depending on what colour clay you've used, the bottom being white and the top red. And then I'm going to pop a few dots of white on it. So I'll just pop away this paint moment and show you if I get my white paint, just do a couple of dots. Sometimes cut the top off your, your chopstick or your cocktail stick. My yes, there we go. Gives us a better roundy tool to use for a dotting tool. So we can pop those in. Just a few dots. Little mushrooms only have a few little white spots. We want to leave plenty of bread. And for our little ladybird, could have given two tiny dots 
for little eyes so you can see them there if you give them too tiny little a bit too much paint two little white eyes you can go back and put a little black dot inside that so we let those dry there a moment and go back to our garden to finish it off hopefully now your fencing should be dry so i have this one dry to show you um how that will look but the way it got the stippling effect on it and some of the little um stepping stones i'm going to show you how to do that so i need my crinkly sponge or your bit of um bubble wrap will be the thing to use and a nice light bit of light green paint I'm going to pop it on the tissue here because I find it easier to do that um because I'm going to dab it in and use this to stipple with just move those things out of my way there sorry now so I've got some paint on the top of the stippling sponge and I'm just going to dab it around a bit like this to make my grass look nice and mossy just gives it a nice little effect you don't have to do that um just makes a nice little finish but i also want to if i'm going to add in my um little stepping stones up to my front door make a pathway so Little fingers would make much nicer stepping stones than this. Because my fingers are much bigger. And then I use a little bit of white and black to make a grey for the pathway. So a little bit of black in here. The off bits of sticks you 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 cut off from your um, fencing can be good for using as mixers. So, just mix a bit of that and dab it in the middle there. A bit of light grey first. Wipe my brush off and add in a bit more black and make it a bit darker. And that becomes my my pathway there and then if i want to use some more white with my stick i cut the end off the stick just a moment to make it um flatter i can do daisies by doing five little dots in a circle so one two three four five white dots and then let that dry and put a yellow dot in the middle one two three four five so if each dot touches the dot beside it and it just goes around in a circle you end up with your your little daisies like this so i'm going to just pop those aside and we can begin to finish off our our little fairy house so our house is all nicely dried here with our roof we have our garden ready and we can now pop a bit of glue onto the surface and stick our house in place. We could stick our little ladybirds in as well. If you want to cut a piece of green card into little um, pointy triangles like that and get your little paintbrush and just curl them down a bit. and Put a bend on the bottom. That then becomes a nice little piece of grass you can add in around your fence so you can put some grass around and just add a few bits and the same with I've done here with a little bit of flower with paper I've cut out a flower shape and using a cocktail or a cotton bud these ones have big fat tops on them just stuck it around the little flower like that 
and we can stick that on our fence or stick it on um, the top of the house and then one of our little um, toadstools as well pop it in there and the glue the PVA glue is great for all of this because it will dry out very nicely a bit more grass in there as well so you have your pretty little house looking very very good indeed I hope you enjoyed it and that you get to make um, lots now that you can know how take care bye bye